Okay, welcome back. So, i-continue natin yung tanong ni Mars, no? Solve natin yung pangalawa dito. Uh, Mr. Ramirez borrowed 15,000 pesos two years ago. The terms of the loan are 10% for 10 years with uniform payments. He just made his second annual payment. Uh, how much principal does he still owe? And if meron pa tayong time, no? I want to make it short kasi like uh, up to like up to 10 minutes lang. If meron pa, then we're going to solve that second one. Okay, so I mean the third one. So, solve natin. Uh, eto. Uh, Mr. Ramirez borrowed 15,000 two years ago. So, the terms of the loan are 10%. Yan yung I. Then N is 10 years supposedly. No, with uniform payments. So, I think this is supposedly um, ordinary uniform series. No, or ordinary annuity. Well, why is that? Kasi if, tayo, if magawa tayo ng cash flow diagram, okay, uh, yung payments niya are to be made yearly, annual. No? Makikita natin dyan, it's um, annual payment, uniform payment. No? So, um, ito yung first, second year, third year, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, Eighth, ninth, and last year, tenth. Okay, so he's supposed to um, pay ten annual payments, no? But what happened here is that uh, we are asked to get the amount that he still owe, no? Uh, he borrowed fifteen thousand dito during this time. Let's make it enough. Ito. So this is 15,000. Okay. Then uh, he made his first two payments already. No, sabi dito, he just made his second annual payment. So, 1, 2, so 15. Uh, we do not know kung ilan yan, no? We do not know kung ilan to. I-calculate pa natin. Okay? Calculate pa natin. So, question, how much principal does he, does he still owe? Uh, yung pinapahalap dyan is ilan yung magiging balance niya after he made this second payment, no? Uh, kasi he's supposed to still pay this next eight payments okay so a a a pa rin yan now if kukunin natin yung a na ito good for 10 years uh, gagamitin natin ng present word formula of uniform series no uh, ano ba yung formula well uh, the formula is uh, p is equal to a times 1 plus i raised to the power of n minus 1 all over i then meron pang times 1 plus i raised to the power of n so if we are to solve for a uh, that a is equal to p times i times 1 plus i raised to the power of n all over 1 plus i raised to n minus 1 yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I think uh, it's a bit na natin, no? Um, A is equal to what? 15,000. So, yan yung amount uh, na binaro niya. Okay. Then times I, 0. Point, uh, what again is the interest given here? So, it's 10%, no? Uh, 0. 0.1 or 0. 0.10. Then times 1 plus 0 0.10 raised to the power of 10 all over uh, zero, uh, 1 plus 0 0.10 raised to the power of 10 minus 1. Okay? So evaluating that <clears throat> will give us an answer of what? A 2,441. Point 
181. Or 18 na lang. Okay? So, ito yung supposed payment niya. Ay, ito yung payment niya yearly. No? So, again, if we'll go back to the question, what's being asked talaga is that how much does he still owe? No? After he made his second annual payment. No? Bale, yung balance niya dito. Okay? Uh, okay, sa rin yung color nito. Okay? Now, paano natin ma-solve yan? Well, simply lang. Since we already know ilan yung A niya, no? we just have to calculate ilan yung lump sum value ng remaining payments na ito no? on this time. A time equal to year 2. Okay? So, ang gagamitin nating formula is the same lang. Ito, no? this formula, no? only gagawin nating N equal to 8 no n must be equal to 8 and the same a no uh, the value that we uh, calculated okay so uh, the balance okay the balance i'm gonna uh, <clears throat> change the color your balance is equal to a so again that's equal to the 2441.18 no, then times a uh, one plus i zero point uh, ten raised to the power of eight minus one. Then all over zero point ten. Then times one plus zero point ten raised to the power of uh, eight. Okay, so ilan to? I will wait ko sa calculator. That is 13,023.52. Okay? So, yan pa yung balance niya. If he is to make, ang ibig sabihin yan, no? If he is to make a lump sum payment para bang to clear off his debt, no? para hindi na siya magbayad pa ng 8 annual payments in the future, in the next 8 years, he may just pay an amount equal to 13,023.52. No, and he will clear off his debt. Wala na siyang remaining na utang. No, if he'll do that. Okay? So that's how to solve it. Using the formula. Well, sir, how about if we are to use sigma notation? Okay, point it in, no? So knowing that uh, that 15k, 15,000 is the uh, P, no? and A is what's being asked. Pwede natin gamitin yung sigma notation, no? So, ganito. Um, if mag sigma notation tayo, that P is supposedly equal to summation of uh, A over 1 plus I raised to the power of X. And this is from X equal to 1 because ordinary annuity siya, no? Then raise to n. Okay, it starts at 1. So if a is what's being asked, pwede kasi natin ipalabas yan. Then making that numerator just equal to 1. 1 over 1 plus i raised to x. And pwede tayo mag cross multiply, no? Uh, bali yung a is equal to p over summation of 1 plus, uh, 1 over 1 plus i raised to x okay then from x equal to uh, from x equal to 1 up to n okay so pwede ganyan pwede nga um, gawin mo itong p over summation of 1 plus i raised to negative x no from x equal to 1 up to n. Ah, pwede mong gawin yan to solve for a. So, evaluating that, uh, using the calculator, uh, making p equal to 15,000. Then i equal to point 0.10 raised to negative x. And this is from x equal to 1 to 10. Uh, that'll give us what? The same amount. Okay, ito yung calculator. 
calculation ko. Uh, 2,441. See? 0.18. Okay. So, with that, um, ilan naman yung balance? So, if yung balance na naman yung i-calculate natin, bali, pwede natin gamitin yung sigma notation, no? At the end of two years. Uh, that is summation of 1 plus i. Ano? Uh, a pala a. Summation of a, 2,441.18 divided by 1 plus i. So, I'm gonna make it 1.10 na lang, no? Raised to the power of x. And of course, yung x dito starts at uh, 1 and ends at 8. Okay. So, this one here doesn't mean uh, year 1 yan, ha? Um, it does mean uh, we are ano, starting dito one year after uh, ano, one year Ito. so on year 3 yan. then uh, when x is 8 uh, that means ito, no? year 10 okay kasi we are calculating the balance at the end of the second year after the second payment is being made okay so um, summation of 2441.18 over 1.10 raised to x. Oops. Uh, that's 13,023. The same, di ba? Okay? That's it. Or pwede rin, uh, ang gagawin mo, uh, di ba, you made, uh, he borrowed 15,000 dito, no? And he already made his first two annual payments, no? Uh, which are 2,441 each, no? Good for two years. So, pwede, na i-calculate mo yung magiging uh, balance for the thing dito. So, paano ba gawin yan? Uh, pwede ka nito, no? Na uh, yung balance is equal to 15,000 15,000 pala ito. 15,000 then mag-multiply tayo ng 1 plus i bale yung interest na earn na good for 2 years. 1 plus i uh, raised to the power of 2. Okay? So, ito yon Parang future worth niya after 2 years. Then, subtract ka natin. Mag-subtract tayo ng... Oops. I-close ko muna yan. Mag-subtract tayo ng uh, 2,441.18 Then, 1 plus i Okay, raised to 1. Bale, yan yung future worth ng first payment mo. No? Then, minus pa ng isang 2,441.18. Okay? Yan yung, ano, worth you made at the second year, at the end of the second year. So, yung result nito must be the same with the 13,000. Okay, uh, tingnan natin, no? This in the calculator, uh, 15,000. Then, uh, ito, 1.10 raised to 2. Okay, future worth ng amount na yan after 2 years, minus 2,441.18. No, then it will earn an interest. No, good for a year. So, you may raise that to 1. Pwede wala na. Then, mag-subtract pa tayo ng payment you made on that year. So, the difference must be the remaining balance that you still, or Mr. Ramirez still has to pay 13000 23. <clears throat> okay, so that's it. That's the answer for this problem. Okay, Mars. Ayos ba yan? How much does he still owe? So that's it. <clears throat>
Um, yung next problem, yung last problem that you ask Mars, so I'll be um, recording another video for that. Right? So, see you in the next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, of course. No? Ayos. And those who still want to ask, no, still uh, need solution, i-comment nyo lang sa comment section.